Hey everyone, welcome back to Mitch in the Kitchen. Today we're making a simple, easy pasta dish. So the bucatini, very similar to spaghetti. It's got a little hole in the middle here so the sauce can kind of get through, get mixed around a little bit better. So that's going to be the basis for this dish. Let's start out with a little bit of oil just to get it going. We've got our Italian chicken sausage here, sweet Italian sausage. Feel free to use whatever you like. Get around a little bit on the exterior. We're gonna break this up pretty fine here. So for the garlic, I'm gonna go into thin slices here. So that was three cloves. The sausage is fully cooked. We are gonna go ahead and get the garlic and the red pepper in. Put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan. Slice garlic to the pan, crushed red pepper. I like a little heat. Go ahead and get that mixed around. Now at this point, you don't want the garlic to sit too much on the bottom of the pan. The worst thing would be to get some burned pieces. Those aren't gonna taste good. It's also not gonna perfume the dish very well. Tomato paste. This is from a tube, as you can see. About a tablespoon. The key when you're using a tomato paste is you want to uh, cook out the tomato flavor. Close to being done there, I'm going to go ahead and get the pasta in because once I add the tomatoes, it's going to be about 10 minutes for each. We just put our pasta in, make sure it's not sticking, moving it around. We're going to go ahead and check on that every couple minutes. Also, we uh, heavily salted that. Once the pasta goes in, that water mixture is going to be you know, what gets drawn into the pasta, so you want a decent bit of salt in there. We're going to go ahead and add our can of whole peeled tomatoes. You can hear when those go in, that sauce hits the bottom kind of starts to deglaze, so you're gonna go ahead and scrape the bottom there. All right, so next, breaking down the tomatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and start that with some scissors. These tomatoes, once you break into them, they tend to pop and red juice everywhere. I found the easy way, take some scissors, cut them open, break them up even further, and it's gonna splash everywhere. Now we're gonna add some Italian seasoning. So for me, when I think Italian seasoning, I think basil, I think parsley, I think oregano. We've got a mixture of all three here in equal parts. Tomatoes can take on a lot of salt. They're sitting in the can, they're unseasoned. So we're gonna go ahead and salt these guys up. Try to cut into that as well. All right, so we just checked our pasta. It's just about perfect. I tend to like it slightly past al dente. Because we're gonna add it to the sauce and mix it around, it's gonna cook a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. We're gonna get all this delicious bucatini. We're not scared of the pasta water because it's cooked in this lesser amount of water. It's got a starchiness to it. It's gonna help actually bring the dish together. And then we're gonna mix all this pasta in with the sauce. Now this is the point where taking the pasta out about 30 seconds before you think it's fully done is gonna be advantageous because it's finishing in this pan here. It's not too saucy. The sauce is the condiment. You know, the pasta is really the star here. Look at that. It's awesome. You kind of give it a twist as you go, which will you know, kind of give you some height to the pasta. Another trick, actually, is slowly turn the bowl as you're plating. We're going to hit it with some fresh olive oil. Then we've got a Parmesan and Pecorino blend. It's about two-thirds Parmesan, one-third Pecorino. Just a little bit more because that's the way I like it. Now we're going to go ahead and taste it. I can taste the sauce, it's not overly saucy. I get the hints of the Italian sausage, a little bit of that fennel. It's a well-balanced pasta dish. I think you're really gonna like it. Uh, please let me know if you give it a try. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for tuning in.